What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode 261 of the Cheesy Controller Podcast. I'm your host, Anton LaFlat. Joining me, as always, we have the Mecca Stardew Valley, Chris Montalbano. Video editing is hard. We got the Ray Trace to Rag Madrid, Devon. Yeah, I should do audio. <laughs> yeah, so here's your audio. Uh, <laughs> and then we got the most generous <laughs> squid in the sea, Janet Roberts. You know what? Getting isekai into a D&D game wouldn't actually be that bad. We got a jam-packed episode for you guys this week. We're going to be talking about Grand Blue Fantasy versus Rising, as well as a bunch of other fighting games. And then that's going to just evolve into us talking about anime and manga. And then, you know, we'll talk a little bit about video games towards the end again. You know, three-act structure, hero's mm-hmm. journey. All that. <laughs> so, the only thing of note I think I played this week was, well, attempted to play, because I attempted to play last night, and I was like, huh, that's weird that it's not working, but uh, was the Grand Blue Fantasy versus Rising the free version? Because they announced two Bs coming to that. Oh, there's a free That's version cool. in there. Yeah. Yep. And it'll oh, well. Rotation of characters. I don't know how it'll yeah. work with the DLC. So because I don't think they're gonna rotate the DLC characters in. Can I buy Probably just not. the DLC character? And yes. Sure the yeah, the D like two B is gonna be like eight bucks. Yeah. So I. But I don't know if I don't know if you could buy it into the trial version though. Right. That's what I'm wondering. Mm, that's interesting. I mean, if they have a free version of the game, you would think you should just be able to like buy what you want piecemeal out of it, right? No. Well, you can't like... buy any of the base character, base roster piecemeal. Right, and the base roster is already three seasons hmm. out of the original game. Hmm. So if you buy the the that game. You do. You would in turn get those three seasons of characters from the previous version of yeah. said game. So, as far as I know, every single character that was in Grand Blue Fantasy Versus when it ended, <coughs> like as mm-hmm. of today, all of those characters are just in the base version of Rising. Mm-hmm. Okay. And all the characters from here on are new and will not be coming to the old one, obviously. So if you booted up the old game, it's just going to be the old game? Yes. There is no upgrade path. There is no... It is gotcha. by this video game. It's 50 That's because they... Because hmm. didn't they give it away at one point? Probably. That sounds Yeah, because right. I think... Yeah. They're like, alright, let's tie up those loose ends. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it didn't have rollback. It didn't have... It came out the week before the pandemic started and had terrible online. So. But this... Yep. And now, now it's back. Roll back. Right. It seems semi worth it, but I'm probably going to wait on the sale. Cause I bought the OG one with the character, the at least the first character pass and stuff. So we'll see. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, See if there's an upgrade, then. There isn't. I it's just a lot of... Because yeah, I have it on both Steam has. and PlayStation. Because hmm. I got it, like, the original one on, like, Super Sale on Steam. And... Yeah, this one has crossplay. This one has rollback. There is absolutely no upgrade path. So, I'm... It's like a proper sequel. Yeah. So... It's, it's, it's weird. Like, like that... Those get kind of confusing to me, like that in Undernight. Yeah. It's like, yes, they use the term sequel, but it's like, this is also incredibly <laughs> similar to the to the previous version right. of that game. It's, not like- it's yeah. more like it's it's basically an upgrade that has a, a little more riz to it, to the fact that they're like, well, I mean, this could be a sequel. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> See, none of us have played Undernight 2. Because that comes out in, like, January, right? Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. It'll be interesting to see because because it's like fact, this they at least that and the Tekken. Menus. They at least changed the menus with Undertaker <laughs> time around trying to charge you full price. So, all right, and I mean, like I'm, I'm cool Kombat with it. Sequel than a Tekken or a Street Fighter or a Marvel versus Capcom or a no, no, this is definitely some Street Fighter shit. This is just Street Fighter Arcade Edition. Yeah, but those they at least let well. Not in the but an upgrade not though. The like mm -hmm. I had Street I had Street Fighter Five and when Arcade Edition came out, yeah, I had Street, Street Fighter, Fighter 5, Five Arcade like Edition. That, but not and I had bought one DLC pack, I think. And that was when <laughs> I think that was after the arcade edition had been out for a while. I got like the cheapest one. I was like, yeah, cool. Yeah. <laughs> you know. I still kind of want to complete the roster of Street Fighter V because by the end of no. it, there were just so many. Come on. There's no reason. <laughs> are, like, are you actually going to play Street Fighter V? That's, oh. a, that's a waste of time, money, and resources. In space. And it's like, that money's just going into the ether. It's not going to help them make us a better Monster Hunter. Right. True. Got to get Sunbreak on Steam. That's the better... I guess. Yeah, <laughs> there is a Steam sale going on right this minute. Yeah, there, the Steam sale is kind of nuts. It's a, it's a nice media Ooh. sale, but I, I will say this about like those games. Um, there's a lot of fighters coming out right now, like like all right then and there, and them charging full price is kind of hefty. Well, like I'm in the it's I'm not in the seventy out the gate. Yeah, that's still kind of, that's still kind of hefty though. You know what I'm saying? Like in this season, it's like people want to kind of save more money and like buy some shit they know they're really going to be with. And like with anime fighters, it, it can go one of two ways. You're either going to get railed, or you know you're going to be really sweaty in it. And if you know you're not going to be really sweaty in it, you might as well just wait for a sale or some shit, right? Yeah. Or until that DLC character two B comes out that you want. Um, and then you you know you go in there you play it for your for your six days and then that's just that's just it you know, you know they put and Elfid for me a sale makes more sense for that huh they put Elfid in Strive and yeah they put Elfid in, in Strive I am way more down like I used to be like I want to get the season pass but like lately like so many things I'm just like I'm going to get the specific thing I want like in Monster Hunter I didn't get the layered weapon like complete set for like every weapon i'm like no i'm going to be playing great sword and sword and shield so i'm going to get just the layered great swords and sword and shields and mm -hmm. like guilty gear i'm not going to be playing guilty gear like that but i wanted to play elfid and strive and you know i did arcade mode and I played my outfit, and I have no need for that entire season pass. So, yeah, that's even <laughs> Grand Blue. I get the base yeah. version, like the fifty dollar version, because they also have like a eighty dollar version that has like the first entire season of DLC and all the color options and everything like that. I'm like, no, you know, I'll get two. <laughs> Real, hmm. But it's like, damn. What if they do pull out some more collab characters? And it's like, yeah, it's totally. <laughs> they're just gonna buy the collab <laughs> characters. They're only yeah. like seven, eight bucks each. So it's like, yeah, just is gonna that buy a collab. Not character. ridiculous for a, a character. Or is that about? That is right. cheap. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Damn. It really depends on the game, honestly. Yeah. And how they treat characters. If it's something like. Let's say Dragon Ball Fighters, where there's mm -hmm. a fuck ton of characters. And I think they might be a little cheaper. Or I mean, well, but I that's also that's like about a the same price. Is, it's it's about like the same. Eight, eight bucks for a Dragon Ball. I don't think I'm. Well, I, yeah, I didn't buy any characters piecemeal. Yeah, I usually Dragon don't Ball because if I'm playing, if I'm playing the game, I, I might as well just get the like the, the DLC pass. Yeah. Um, that way I know I'm gonna get the characters like Street Fighter. That's haven't true. fucking haven't fucking touched it. Like I I I have the season pass and I haven't played Rashid. 
have played hockey. <laughs> I, don't, I haven't even fought them. I don't know what they're like. I haven't touched that game again. I just I haven't been in the fighting mood. Season pass. Marie, I think, is out in beta on Steam. But Skullgirls is about to be done. Until they announce the new one. <laughs> oh, I'm so ready. <laughs> Please. Full price <laughs> Skullgirls. Like, <clears throat> yes. That is a game like anytime, any place. I'm down for some Skullgirls. Yeah, I'm with it. I'm with it. Um, oh, speaking of fighting games, there was an announcement. I don't know if y'all heard about it, but they announced a real Hunter Hunter fighting game. Isn't that going to be made by aiding? Yes. So we're back. They made, we're so fucking back. They made Marvel vs. Capcom three. <laughs> um, this, was it Taitsu Taitsu Tatsuo yeah. um, versus Capcom? Um, they did a, they did Bloody Roar. Yeah, they like, look, they made some of the most degenerate fighting games. (laughs) Right, I'm like, okay, y'all are, y'all are giving us combos, y'all are giving us systems, and y'all, and y'all have worked in a team-based fighting environment before. I'm like, we're, we're here, we're here. They said a real fighting game, too, so we're not getting that arena fighter bullshit. I'm sorry (laughs) that JJK had to pay the fucking price. (laughs) <laughs> for Hunter Hunter to fucking to get what I didn't know that I wanted because I mean I'm still the the nature of Hunter Hunter in and of itself is it, it's somehow just as head ass mm-hmm. as JJK like it, it could be more head ass it could also not like they you know I can't say they're going back and forth because you know GG is competing with the past ultimately but he saw the blueprint and thus made this. So it's like, all right, how fucking, how technical are we going to get with this shit? Because some of those abilities are very fucking specific. <laughs> you know, so I'm, I'm curious. I'm interested. I'm, I'm <laughs> excited even, you know? I'm curious. I'm curious. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't know how that's actually going to go, but, you know, I'm, yeah, I'm willing to see. Okay. It's like, is it going to be a 2v2, a 3v3? <laughs> Are they going to say fuck it and just do a 1v1? Do the schoolgirl yeah. system. You can do 1, 2, or 3. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Who knows? I'm mad more like tag games haven't stolen that system of like you balancing your health bars with like essentially your range of tools. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't sh- shit, I don't know. That's a good question. I mean, they kind of did that in Marvel vs. Capcom. Like some of the characters have different health values. Well, I mean, but like in all fighting games, characters have different health values. Like the bar will always be the same length, but the numbers in that bar will be drastically different between characters. Right. Yeah, that's true. So, Hmm. even if they were like, I'm not sure if in Marvel, like, the bars were shorter or something, but like, Skullgirls, your life bar, if you have one character, is the same length of the life bar if you have three characters. It's just the numbers are drastically lower when you have three characters. Yeah, it's like a, it's a different color too, right? Isn't it green when it's just one character? I think it's green. It does like the green down to yellow, down to red thing. Right, because it it kind of it it will show you basically where you're at if you look at the if you look at the health bar, like the color of it. Because it's like okay, if I know if I'm down to yellow, I'm closer to like if I'm at one character type shit. Yeah, that's how I thought about it. At least, because like when you have, because I remember you have three characters. It's like yellow or gold. Mm-hmm. When you have two characters, I can't remember what color that was. I usually don't use two characters. I usually do three or one. It's like man, fuck that, you know. I do either two or three, but I can't think of like what color the health bars are. Yeah, 
Yeah. So, you know, one step closer to Guilty Gear cross tag battle. I let that dream die. Because <laughs> ultimately, I don't want it anymore. <clears throat> Some crossovers in yeah. Strive would be sick. That's what I really want. <laughs> Some crossovers in Strive. Who would you have crossover? Fucking... Ichigo. Yeah. That'd be fucking sick. That'd be fucking sick. <laughs> or Dio. Just fuck it. Just <laughs> Ichigo desk mat in the back. <laughs> the subconscious mind of. <laughs> Just fully awakened Sukuna. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So he can fold his arms <laughs> and then fold you with the other two? <laughs> <laughs> Absolute piecing up, <laughs> with and it's not even like the corresponding arms. So, <laughs> so it's like it's the top left, lower right, and then the top right, lower left. Or <laughs> imagine getting a straight right. You an origami. That is like... <laughs> Yo, he's probably crazy with a Rubik's cube. All the mice. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, but yeah. Oh man, yeah, I'm I'm excited to see more news about it. Um, everybody seems pretty excited. That's that's seen these announcements. Um, so yeah, I'm here. It's fucking mm -hmm. random because like the manga is like shelved. <laughs> the anime is what. <laughs> Shelved. <laughs> Interesting. But hey, why not? 2024, your, your dreams. Your dreams. <laughs> you know, at least they're going to get Bleach Core 3. They dropped that new trailer. Still ain't watched it. It's super short. It's one of those, like, Viz, like, here yeah, it was it was Jump Festa recently. Yeah, so we got all those sh super short, like I think the Chainsaw Man movie teaser was longer than the Bleach teaser. Hmm. God, they're about to crank out another movie in like under six months, and it's it's going to be fucking insane. Right, and then from then from there, it's going. Probably in the season two. Because mm. we'll they already said that they already said there's gonna be a season two. Let's assume they get their bread back. <laughs> <laughs> but if that movie does what everyone thinks it'll do, I think it would. I think it would actually do well in theaters too. Oh, of course. Probably over. Here. Like I don't know. No, the qu the quality is there with with Chainsaw Man. The thing is, people just weren't buying the Blu-ray. That's re that's really what it boiled down to. Since the Blu-ray wasn't selling, it was you know it was like oh mm -hmm. fuck, we didn't we we're not making our money off of this. Right, and also that's, they made it, it was deemed a flop. Yeah, and they also made it in the most expensive way possible. Yeah, licensing what thirteen songs? Oh yeah, that's just ridiculous. The anime is good though. But... Oh, it is. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. It is definitely more popular over here. Mm -hmm. Um, I will. I would say with like you know, with the way some of the storytelling is, um, the subject matter mm -hmm. is kind of more Western centric. Um, I, I think know, also it's though still it's super the, popular. Yeah. Also, I think yeah. it's partially because it's not like necessarily Western centric, but more of like this is something that people want that actually broke out into like main mainstream so you had to put no effort in like actually finding something like this mm -hmm. only a certain amount of roads lead to chainsaw man right a degenerate road <laughs> yeah <laughs> the road of having feelings what the fuck I am not prepared for Tuesday. 
Because last week's chapter is oh, fucked. I haven't read Chainsaw Man actually in a good minute. Now that I think about it. Things are... Things are... Things are escalating. Yeah, I read that today for like the first time. Yeah, things are kind of fucked right now. Kind of fucked. But chapters aren't crazy long for Chainsaw Man, right? No. No. There was a point where they kind of were... Not even crazy long, but like longer than usual. Mm. But yeah, no, it's back to being at that Chainsaw Man kind of pacing. Okay. Yeah, I gotta get caught up. <laughs> um, Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? Just. Mm. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. That last chapter. Why are you laughing, Dingy? Because of boys nuts. He he is going through it. When is he not? Is that not his entire arc? Yeah. <laughs> he's like Spider Man. He was born to suffer. Oh God. <laughs> the creator's like, let me just put all the suffering on this on this on this lad, on this boy. <laughs> <laughs> because why not? That's fucked up. It's Yuji's, Yuji's no different. I was like, that's Yuji definitely. <laughs> here's my here's my whipping boy. <laughs> 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 Wanna make him suffer, and by him I mean y'all also. So yeah. I I see that the JJK fandom has is is grown to understand that now by watching <laughs> the season. We tried to warn y'all. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. Yeah. I did. I didn't try to warn y'all about shit. I was. I was here waiting for y'all to walk into that shit. It's like the first season. It's. It's not like it doesn't show you what it's about. Y'all just chose to ignore those flags. Right. Yeah. I was one of those people. The anime it was even better about it. <laughs> about about fucking with you about it. You know. There, there was that first opening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, yeah. early on, yeah. epi- what was it? Episode 2 had the opening for the first time? Or did Episode 1 I, have the opening? I don't remember. But <laughs> from the minute that happened, shit. Well, Gojo might have been holding the box. <laughs> In episode one. He, he was holding a box of candies. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. JJK is only here to hurt you. God, both of them are just here to hurt you. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like, where's the hope? Like, what the fuck? Y- Yoko Taro will, will hurt you, but he'll give you some hope. You know like, what? Yeah, there's a lesson in all of this. Right, but also, this is something I'll say about Chainsaw Man, is Chainsaw Man will have points where it's like, oh, yeah, we're just gonna just... Regular life sucks shit. And mm-hmm. then it'll just be like, no, we're gonna get real dark, real nasty for, like, ten chapters. Then you're just gonna have to, and then you get to spend the rest of your downtime reading the consequences. Cause, uh, <laughs> Chainsaw Man is Chainsaw Manning. I need some more, like, positive media. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If you're reading manga, we're going through like the seasonal depression era. I'll say, of... I'll say read uh, Akane Banashi. That's a good read. Okay. It's about hey, a you could also Japanese read Undead Unluck. No, that's kind of depressing, too. I mean, sometimes. It's not, it's not devoid of it, you know It's what I'm the saying? most fun, though. It's fun, though. Like, Undead Unluck is fun most of the time. Until, like, you know... So they you have watch to be... everybody. You watch everybody die. Let me just I, like, start like I said, you. until plot happens. You know, like when the plot's not plotting. I don't no, know. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. Haiku's gonna hit some emotions in there that she didn't know he had. 
<laughs> I've never teared up so much in my goddamn life. <laughs> you know, reading or I'm watching not against so. that. But I'll like, be up there. I'm like, God damn it, that's, that's my lad right there. You, you, you spike that fucking ball. <laughs> fucking spike it. All right. You, you get that reception. <laughs> Look at that. That was a kill block. That was a kill block. You don't know what you're with. <laughs> no, everyone knows what he went through because there's always somebody in the crowd explaining it. Oh, yes. This form of kill block. I remember when he couldn't do that until he came to practice with us. <laughs> he had to oh, my God. He did. Oh, he had my to God. Him. But now... It took Ush- Ushiwaka hitting him with a full force spike. We knew he could deflect it. He has the height for it and the talent. But he didn't want to push himself. <laughs> yeah, but that's a lot better than uh, don't get uh, attached to any characters because they can get ripped in half in the next two weeks. That's true. Gigi's listening. <laughs> that is fucking true. I I read a wholesome coming of age story where you know. You know what? See, this is why I read really fluffy romance manga. Peaks and valleys. Right, right, right. Like the most fucked up shit I read a week. Not the random bullshit that I'll read, but like my weeklies is JJK and Chainsaw Man are the two that are like, I'm here to fuck with your life. And you know, like, I don't have any emotional attachment to Chainsaw Man anymore. I don't. I am completely, what? I have a wall completely built up. In that next broke. chapter, everybody could brutally die and I'd be like, huh. Did it break you like that? Or maybe. I maybe. think it's just the way. <laughs> the way part two's been going, and because like part one fucking ended the series, let's be honest, it did. It did. They're like, all right, we need some more money out you, my boy. <laughs> and he gave us part two. I'm not, I'm not mad. I'm not salty about anything, but it's mm-hmm. it's just different at this point. Yeah. I'm enjoying part two. I mean, I'm enjoying it, but I like that emotional attachment is not there. I know what the series is. <laughs> There's no point. <laughs> Shit changes like this, and then it doesn't. And then it does. So, what's really going on? Look, the one constant is that Denji's going to be in pain the entire time. That's the one constant. Yeah. They can't hurt me any more than what they did with the gun devil. Right. I don't... And then then what happened immediately after that? But then it kind of got like, no, we we, we walked it back a little. They did not walk back shit. (laughs) I did. No, they, that's when he lost it. Lost it. It got it. It got walked back after after the whole bang on my birthday cake. It got walked back because she came back fucking later, only to that, do, only to die again or, or whatever. It's fine, but it's like devils don't fucking die. They just go back to hell until somebody yeah. kills them in hell, and then they come back here. And the yeah, cycle but they repeats don't, itself. But they also like kind of their memories get wiped. Like, power's not going to be power. Okay. Who cares? Chris, I can you read Chainsaw Man, or are they just... I mean, I watched the anime to the point to where they started looking for the gun devil. Yeah, so... So, he, I understood some of that. No. I mean, I understood keywords. He knows too much. <laughs> Maki must listen. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be really weird when we have this drought of not even having a three what's going on with uh black clover is that still going on that chapter came out today yeah it actually came back today it's been going for four months <laughs> That's why I yeah four months. It went to it switched magazines. This is Jump Giga now. Mm-hmm. Mm. But it still came out today with everything else. <laughs> it was like twenty five. It was like twenty five pages. I don't know. I don't follow Black Clover or anything. I'm just trying to see like the state. Like fucking four color pages. They're like yeah yeah Fuck. we back baby <laughs> oh oh we back back. I'm like, oh, we so back, baby. Yeah, that <laughs> shit was piped up too. And I'm like, yeah, that's about to end. 
I would give that a time frame count, but I I don't know how the how those chapters are going to release. Are we going to get another one next month? Like <laughs> like, are you doing a one a month type of deal? Two month? I don't know. It's fine. One Piece is going to end in th- like three years. <laughs> one Piece is getting a, one Piece is getting another anime. Like <laughs> they're doing an anime adaptation of the anime adaptation. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Like me and Ashley were talking about this. It's going to be crazy because there's going to be another season of the live action coming, and we we know it. Is this going to be the the anime that's going right now? The manga is still going to be going, of course. The anime adaptation to adaptation is going to be coming. <laughs> and it'll probably throw in another game or two. Because why not? Oh, yeah. It's One Piece. The, the, game. <laughs> the games are going to happen. They're going to happen. You Has there ever been a good game? game? Yeah. <laughs> like... Apparently, Odyssey yeah. was pretty good. Yeah. I don't know. Odyssey's I good. don't read, watch, consume One Piece. I yeah. appreciate it's a lifestyle at this point. It, it is. Yeah. Don't worry. Y'all be y'all be in y'all be It'll taken happen. to the high seas before it's over. Yeah. It gets everyone. <laughs> you, you could be a staunch one piece hater. It'll get you. It'll get you. Right. I am not like I've accepted that it's gonna happen. It's just when it happens, you know. It's just when it happens, you know? I'll let it I'll interact with the One Piece every once in a while. Yeah, there's only two types of people when it comes to One Piece. People who love One Piece and people who don't love One Piece yet. There. Gama, gama, no. I don't know. I have not gotten back into One Piece. I know I'm on a good arc, but I'm just like, I just haven't gotten back to it. What's the best way to consume One Piece if you're like at the <laughs> beginning? It depends on how can you read a lot of manga at one time or are you better because basically it's a thousand chapters or a thousand twenty minute episodes. Take, pick your poison. Oh. I, yeah. get you. I hear what you're saying. There's eleven hundred chapters. Actually, <laughs> I think today makes eleven oh one or eleven oh two. So, and you can't skip anything. Eleven oh two. You can't skip any. There's no filler. Well, in the anime, filler there's in, filler. There's filler. In the Honestly, I I'd, I'd say read the manga because you could just go in. You can you can read at your own pace. It's always going to be there. And you just That's you true. just go through it. Choo, 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 choo. Now with the anime for the fights, you go on YouTube and watch the fights. From yeah, the- you can go on YouTube and watch the fights condensed because ultimately One Piece is from the fucking like nineties. Like yeah, it, I mean I remember has- watching it coming on Toonami when right. I was a kid. So it has a bunch of old school animation techniques that prolong the subject matter of episodes. Which uh, ex- which makes it a lot longer than it needs to be. Yeah, I was dealing with that when watching Yu Yu Hakusho. Yeah, and that's it done in a better, <laughs> yeah, in a better, more <laughs> concise way, you know. So it's fine, mm-hmm. but that shit, <laughs> a thousand plus episodes of that, it, it could be a lot. But you know, if you were <laughs> kind of like watching in the background or something, yeah. It's it's a good watch. Or sometimes, you know, that, that should get a hold of you and you don't care anymore. And you hit that one piece like flow state and you're just gonna be up there watching the fuck out of it. And that's when I say it's better than reading the reading the manga once you hit the one piece flow state. Okay. And then you can always skip the filler because they're pretty concise. It's like, oh, on the way to the next island, we get hit with some ship troubles, or we ran into this other pirate group or here's some marines like all the fillers make sense outside yeah. of the like movie specific fillers that lead into the movies that are coming out or came out yeah but yeah cool. you gotta Thanks. watch the movies though i gotta watch the movies too you gotta watch That's the added content. <laughs> you gotta watch the films there are one piece like 
movies that kind of like catch the arc um and it, it just puts it in an hour plus kind of format for you to watch yeah those okay. are on netflix and you can take a look at that i haven't watched those is are they on is one piece on Crunchyroll? yeah it's on everything it's on everything oh yeah that's fair <laughs> they want you to have it. <laughs> they need you to be a lighten. <laughs> like I really want to be able to read Wano, but I know that that no Wano's over. Yeah, I know. Oh, but Wano ended recently. But that is. I got a Wano volume. I got a Wano volume around here somewhere. I am definitely not going to go. This is those. probably my only volume of One Piece. I have two no, volumes it, of One Piece. Volume this is for sure my only 100. volume. I saw it in uh, Barnes & Noble and I couldn't help myself. I went to Free Comic Book Day at Oxford Comics and got a bunch of free comics and then felt bad so bought some manga. Well, <laughs> I mean, like, Free Comic Book Day served its purpose. I'm like, that's true. And you went and bought some other shit. Yeah. Instead of buying comics of the free comic or like versions of the comics that you got for free, you bought manga instead. I mean, from the comic book shop. Yeah, that's true. You support your support your local comic book shop. Yeah, instead of supporting that devil. <laughs> Right. Even no, though no, my no. One Piece Volume no, One Hundred no. that I had got before my One Piece Volume One came from Amazon. You're just gonna collect every one hundred iteration. I mean, yeah, if, I doubt One Piece will make it to Volume Two Hundred, but if it makes it to Volume Two Hundred, <laughs> that'd be insane. With that many chapters, what volume is it on? 104? Like, yeah, under that's, 110. If that's 103... I would say it's under 110, just because I know how goddamn long it takes for hmm. volumes to come out in North America. Well, volumes, period. Like, we don't... Oh, like, volumes here? I th that was probably the most recent one when I bought it, and that was a couple months ago. So we might not even have 104 yet. Mm -hmm. Um. Now, as far as in Japan, I think they might be, like, close to 110. Then again, One Piece doesn't drop as many volumes as everything else, because we get, like, five a year of typical shit. So I don't know. That's weird. <laughs> That's fair. It was like when Naruto had to release a shit ton of volumes back to back. They're like, shit, we want to start airing Shippuden. It's like, but Naruto's like, the manga's in the Chunin exams. What are we going to do? We're going to just drop them. <laughs> Fuck it. Back to back to back. <laughs> it was like four a month. <laughs> and like, North American releases of volumes of Naruto. Okay. Well, One Piece is on volume 107. 108 drops in March. And that's in Japan. I think. So yeah, yeah. I highly doubt One Piece is going to make it to 200, but... It'll take another 20 years. <laughs> Actually, it'll probably take even longer. I'm waiting for the manga adaptation or the anime adaptation of that anime adaptation. You know, that's going to happen. The manga adaptation of the live action adaptation? That's going to be peak. These are all going to be things our kids will consume. True. One Piece will never die. Come on. It's like legit when I went looking for game news, I couldn't find any good news. And it's Steve, <laughs> so. There's no good news. <laughs> oh. oh, man. I mean, Fuck. it's like all the good stuff they kind of got out. Like, the only good news that I'm seeing is like the Steam Winter sales going on. But yeah. 
as far as like actual developing stuff, uh, China just banned a bunch of shit. So, considering yes. how much of the industry Tencent and Netties owns, like we're going to be dealing with the repercussions of that all early it's next. Basically, year. it's uh, well only if you're playing mobile games because that's what it's really around. It's around gotcha mechanics. Like you can't have daily login. Uh, but they just lost money, like in like stocks and shares and shit, and those are going to have tangible ramifications on the businesses they own and those companies, mm-hmm. which is going to equate to a loss of jobs all... ultimately. Yeah, and it it sucks mm-hmm. that you know a, a country trying to be more proactive in protecting its consumers is going to end up punishing the like the developers. You know what I'm saying? It shouldn't be that way, you know. But here yeah. we are. Here we are. And then, like, there were more studio closures. <laughs> there were more layoffs. And like, the later in the year we get, the worse it is. It's like, damn, you waited till Christmas break to lay people off. That's is yeah, that, you got it. You got to make sure you do it. You know, two weeks that we take. What if it was longer? Damn. What Did if it was forever? Last time? I mean I thought that's what the the after Christmas break layoff was was from Insomniac on the not that but I, I don't know. maybe I inter- interpreted that art- article wrong. I didn't even I didn't look at that article. Uh I think like, hmm. Insomniac was most likely having layoffs. They haven't announced that they're having layoffs, but yeah. in those papers, they were saying, it despite the success of Spider-Man, there's a ch- they're probably going to have to do layoffs. Because one of the things they were talking about in those, pa- in those papers was like, mm-hmm. they spent an extra $65 million on Spider-Man 2. And they're wondering if players are actually getting any value out of that $65 million they put in it. Because those budgets are huge and just not sustainable. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, I love Spider-Man 2. This is funny. This is funny. It's, it's not funny. It's not funny. But Knights of the Zodiac has a live action adaptation on Netflix. And apparently they spent about $65 million on it. And that shit made them only $7 million. It was awful. It was god awful. <laughs> One out of five stars. <laughs> it was terrible. So yeah, it's it's crazy how that same type of budget is um is used in both those instances and mm-hmm. both are like one's just not even acknowledged it was so bad type shit and the other as good as it was didn't get that type of recognition that I guess they were looking for, or I, I don't know what they're looking for actually. Like, yeah, player retention. Point, right? Like, how do how the fuck do you retain players? Like, what the fuck? Maybe <laughs> like sales game plus. But uh, the part of the problem with Spider Man is even though it's the same length as the Spider Man is going to sell in perpetuity. People are going to be buying mm-hmm. Spider Man. Like, people are still buying OG Spider-Man. True. Like, now. There are people who haven't played Miles Morales. Like, pretty much every PS5, the attach rate's nothing like Mario Kart crazy, but the attach rate for Miles Morales is actually, like, higher than you'd expect from a PlayStation game, period. No. I mean, I would expect that because literally when when the when Spider-Man, what, 2016? Was it mm-hmm. 2018? 2016? 2016? When that came yeah, when that came out, like people were going out like, all right, it's time to go buy a PlayStation 4. Mm-hmm. And that was arguably towards the end of the PlayStation 4's life cycle. Yeah. And people were like, all right, it's time well, to do it. About the half I don't think I so looking at this article a little bit, it, yeah. it's yeah. like it was a leak. Of a slideshow from PlayStation, it doesn't look like it's Insomniac. Well, first, it's not first Insomniac. Off, it, first off, Insomniac was legitimately hacked and held hostage for that data. Yeah, so all this yeah. is shit that we shouldn't know. 
yeah, first yeah, and foremost. A bunch of ransomware. Like it's not yeah. the same situation as Microsoft failing yeah. to encrypt their shit. It's like this is a ransomware attack, and the first rule of ransomware attacks is you'd never pay the ransom. Yeah. <laughs> So, well, they, apparently it's like a whole PlayStation company wide that they're just making layoffs to save money for going into the next I year. Mean, it's not Insomniac specific. It's just a whole company wide thing. It's more than just it's the whole industry wide thing. Like, well, yeah, but I'm just saying this specific instance where I that I brought up was just, I guess the malware Sony was wide. from so it's a Sony wide thing. So it, even though. Spider-Man 2 had the resounding, like, success. They're still getting pressure from Sony just to say, hey, we need you to cut costs. But that's just the top dog doing what top dogs do. Right, but also, those budgets are insane. Well, that's true. And they're not even sure they're actually getting return on investment. Like, well, with Spider Man, they're going to get return on investment. They've yeah. Got no, no, no. I don't mean return on investment as in like sales. I mean like, is the value is that extra sixty five million dollars that they put into Spider Man actually something that the players can see? Yes. And the consensus, well, from their side, the consensus is no. Felt it. <laughs> yeah, I, I was playing. I was like, "Man, I know this shit is expensive." Yeah, Spider Man and Final okay. Fantasy both does, games this year. That like, does Spider Man twenty, uh, Spider Spider Man two feel sixty five million dollars better than Spider Man twenty eighteen? So, like, on top of twenty eighteen's budget, add sixty five yes, million add more. Sixty five million more dollars. That's a lot of money. Yeah, I, I kind of like that's the thing it. about it is like they, I'm willing to, I would believe that Insomnia can get much of the same result for not adding sixty five million dollars to that game. Maybe it takes longer. I don't, unless, like you said, unless the game takes longer. Like, yeah. well, it depends on years what, longer. Yeah. Like Bethesda years longer type shit. But not Bethesda quality. No, no, no it'll be it, better. Yeah, I don't fully believe that. <laughs> I don't fully believe that because I think they got a really good set of tools and at least some half decent management. So if they were, you know, specific on what they're adding to it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think they would need to spend as much. But that's just me. I don't know. But we don't know actual... where, like, where the money is going specifically. Exactly. Like, if, like, perhaps if I saw a pie chart of like where each fucking cent went, <laughs> and <laughs> where, where, like where that translate, like, is this going directly into like being able to build this asset? Is this yeah. going for us like bringing in this type of team to oversee this process of the game? Like, I don't know. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I can't just say definitively that. Not having the sixty-five mil would would equate to either a lesser product or a better product over, or like a decent product over time. Yeah, um, it, it's too it's too broad to like just say for sure. Yeah, but I do know that playing it, I felt like people can say Spider-Man Two is just yes, it's more Spider-Man, but with the way it was handled, it was like this is also the elevated version of Spider-Man and Miles Morales. Like you, you see they took certain things. Um, they really utilized the power of the PS5. Like A lot of shit that was in that game could not have been in 2018. Could not have been in Miles Morales. Just straight up. Yeah. And Miles That's... Morales could have done more if it weren't cross-gen. Like Miles Morales was held back by the fact that it was a PS4 and a PS5 game. The same thing with God of War Ragnarok. Like, God of War Ragnarok didn't do anything crazy with the SSD because God of War yeah. Ragnarok... Damn, that would have been so fucking cool, too. Yeah, God yeah. of War Ragnarok had to take into account... Like, you still it's have to walk PS4, through yeah. the hallway and they still put yeah. dialogue in the hallway to fast travel when they wouldn't have needed to do that if it weren't on PS4. 
Yeah. Oh man, that fast travel in Spider Man. Just mm-hmm. all right. Time to switch, and you just in the wingsuit. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that's just this shit. Mm. But yeah, that whole that whole situation, like in regards to the leak, the the ransomware and shit, like it was a fucked up situation, dog. They're up there leaking personal information and shit. Mm-hmm. Of like employees, like I understand if you have if you have it against a a corporation or whatever, you want to extort them for money. I'm not I'm not justifying it, but that's one thing. But then also just straight up dropping people's personal information like that, in my opinion, is completely unrelated, and that's some grimy shit. It is grimy shit. Well, hackers are fucking grimy. They're not like good yeah. People. <laughs> I do not fuck with hackers. <laughs> Hackers, scammers, extorters, thieves. All Unless you're stealing from the rich and giving to the poor, but how many people actually actually fucking do that, right? Nah, yeah. gotta get that luxury first. Gotta gotta Robin Hood doesn't exist. Yeah, just Robin in the hood, you know? Damn. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> Well, did anybody play anything this week of note? Cracked out on fucking Yu-Gi-Oh again. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was about to say I re-downloaded it, but I updated it better yet. And I was about to play it last night, but I'm I'm still a little too dazed to, <laughs> yeah, to deal with those systems. Better. And, you know, I was like, hmm, maybe they won't kick me anymore. And, like, they kicked me in the middle of, like, checking my notifications. I was like, well, fuck. <laughs> That's not a good sign. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why it doesn't like you. Like, do you have to uninstall it and reinstall it? Maybe I should. I I never actually did. Maybe I should. I think you might got a bad install because I don't get kicked anymore. It's been a good hot minute. I play a lot. I'll give it a try. It's fun. It's a good time. I mean, it's just consistent Yu-Gi-Oh, which is nice. There's nothing more to say about it. The events have just ended, so which was kind of oh, cool. The event ended. There was like, a, yeah, apparently it was a short event. I don't know. I don't like read up on the. It gives you like all the news as you turn on the game. Yeah, and I was like yeah. I just immediately skip it. Yeah, it gave me too much. I was like, man, I've been going for a I while. Was like, so. I was like, I don't care. But yeah, like it was like a thirty second. Each turn was thirty seconds, so I wasn't waiting for anybody, and I was whooping ass. Mm. Good time. Can you? So right now I have, I can have like up to twenty four decks. Can you get more than twenty four? Yeah, as you like do, uh, like your dailies, you can unlock more decks. Like they just, they just give it to you as a reward for doing like dailies, and that's just like okay, summoning okay. three special summoning three monsters or playing a trap card. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I've never had to buy any deck. I mean, you don't get enough money to buy decks. Or I haven't. I haven't run out of the like decks, but I don't spend money on the game, so I haven't made a bunch of them. I think yeah. I have like five. I more so had like decks that I got from. Um, Those are cool, like the like ones you keep the, from events. Yeah, like from events or um, ones I got from doing the the single player shit. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'll start down that pathway, kind of, sort of. That's what I need to do. I need to play more single player. Yeah, you can get a bunch of cards like that. Mm-hmm. For show sure. and gems. Mm-hmm. I think I get a trophy for doing them all, too. Yeah. I mean, personally, I haven't played a lot of games. I, <laughs> I've been sick and just really didn't. I did watch a lot of movies. Um, in TV over this over this break, and nice. Rebel Moon is awful. <laughs> oh. Just putting that out there, the shit sucks. <laughs> and the story is bad. The characters are flat. Uh, the action is meddling. Mm. The choreography is buns. The slow mo is just is painful. After a while, after about the third the third time of it, is it's just painful. That's sucks. Um. 
Yeah. So, like, if your action movie is is missing out on the action and the story's bad, then what is it? A Zack Snyder film. Two hours and 13 minutes of you being bored? No, thank you. <laughs> Do with that information if y'all, what y'all will, you know? Feel free to watch it or don't. You know, you could watch the Zack Snyder cut of the Justice League and maybe have a marginally better time, and that's saying a lot. March. It's also a lot longer, too. Right, look, Isn't it like four watch... hours long? Yes, if you're going to watch a Snyder movie, just watch Sucker Punch. That's like, if you're going to pick one, just watch Sucker Punch. I can't do that shit. Four hour long movies is ridiculous. That is half Lord a work of the Rings shit. wasn't even four hours. Well, they're doing the, the extended cut now, and each one's four hours. No, I have the extended cut. The original extended cut only made it three and a half. That's still okay. ridiculous. Well, which one? Just like... <laughs> uh, well, Return of the King was the one that really broke like three hours consistently with the extended cut. Yeah, that one was long. The Twin Towers was Two Towers was my favorite though. My favorite is Return of the King. Twin Towers. Twin Towers. Two Towers. Two Towers, right? Yeah, it's two towers. Yeah. <laughs> Chris got where I was going for that. <laughs> oh, no, I understood you. I got you. <laughs> no, I, see, I see what you're cooking. Oh. Yeah, I'm not going to give you all my movie about reviews. rewatching 300. That's always a solid option. 300? Yes. Yeah, that movie is good. Uh, it's like a. I like Gladiator. Arguably. It's a good like turn your brain off movie. Just watch, yeah, it. It's like the shit out of each other. Gladiator. Gladiator is so great. Three hundred is so great. They're both great. I was about to ask, did Gladiator have a UMD video on PSP? But that's not even how I watched Three Hundred on PSP. So. <laughs> <laughs> Gladiator, when did Glad Gladiator came out in like the nineties? It doesn't matter. Yeah. The the amount of shit that was on PSP UMD was like That is true. The one that I've never seen in person would be like the albums, like the music albums, because you really had to be <laughs> They put albums on it? That's cool. That's crazy. You could just get the MP three. Yes. Right, I would just... just yeah. <laughs> That's kind of insane. Let me use my disk space <laughs> for some shit I could have just downloaded. But this is back in the day where it would play off the disk, so it's not taking up like actual yeah. memory card space, whereas downloading the MP3 would. Oh, yeah, true. that was something you would have to juggle. <laughs> That's true. And SD cards were well, not. What if you wanted to play the game and listen, and listen to the music at the same been... time, oh. though? Sucks Wasn't it micro suck. SD? No, it was uh, Sony Pro Duo. Some. It was not an SD card in any. In the PSP. Have... Yes, I am a hundred percent sure it was not an SD card. It was not an SD card. It was a proprietary Sony bullshit. That's why they I thought also that did was the the Vita. Uh, the Vita. They did it for both. both. That's why they did it for the Vita like that. Because it worked on the PSP because people would buy more because they were cheaper. Yeah. And people would Some have with two this damn PSPs. Tech. They'd have one for emulation and one for like release games. Because if you bought like a new game on UMD and you had a hacked PSP, if the firmware was too new for your hack, the UMD yeah. would update your PSP <laughs> and unhack it. So <laughs> I went through that problem a lot. No, I just didn't play new games. <laughs> I just did not play new games. I didn't hack my PSP until my UMD drive broke. So I was playing like relatively new stuff like throughout the PSP life cycle. It's just, yeah. you know. I mean, you could like play the new games after like they, the jailbreak got updated. And then you just update your jailbreak, and then you could play those games. Yeah, I mean, think I, good I, I'd update mine over Wi-Fi. I'm like, fuck, I like. Yeah. Because the three thousand at first, it was really hard to hack the three thousand. 
Yeah. So you had to get like a little special battery for it, right? No, that was a one in two thousand. The Pandora. Battery oh, you're didn't right. Work in the three thousand. I had a one. I was. I was, I had a two thousand. Yeah, the PS. I just go to an interesting piece of technology. I used to go to school with that Pandora battery and be like, "Yo, you want me to hack your PSP?" <laughs> Yo, uh, give me your PSP real quick. Bro. I'll do it. Twenty bucks. You can play whatever game you want. <laughs> You could play whatever, you could watch whatever. You know? <laughs> I'll even install a camera on it for you so you can record. <laughs> I just want to hold one of them shits in my hand. It I don't know, it's just something about it. It feels good. Yeah, Almost like a phone, but like better because it's yeah. a little heftier. Well, no, yeah. The, my phone is considerably heavier than like Oh, is it PSP? Man? Yeah, the PSP. I haven't picked right. one of them shits up in a while. You know, I, I missed the PS. Know. It was a solid <laughs> handheld. I wish Sony gave a damn. I got NBA. Live. You can get you a PlayStation oh, Portal. That ain't the same fucking thing. Everybody it, knows it's not the same thing. It is if you're playing at your house <laughs> okay. or at a hotel. Oh yeah, you're right. You know, or you know, if you're out of town. I'm gonna play at a hotel. Someone's gonna hack my portal, hack my PS5, and just steal my shit. And I mean, personally, I would connect to the hotspot on my phone. <laughs> That's fair. <true. laughs> These are light because only this one has a UMD in it. The 2000 that I have, mm -hmm. but neither of them have batteries, so that probably can. Oh, uh, you should just strap two of them shits together. And <laughs> make you a P. Oh, well, that's not exactly how I imagined it. It's like a DS, it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> PSDS. Yeah, yeah. Where's that, Sony? Where's that? That's what the streets want right now. <laughs> Goddamn uh... PSP ice cream fucking sandwich, baby. <laughs> A foldable. Wanna, Let's go. <laughs> I just want a fucking system that natively plays on it. That's portable? It's called a Steam yeah. Deck. Well, yeah. Or a Switch. I get it. <laughs> or a ROG out. I'm talking about a PlayStation 1. Oh, that's not happening. Yeah, that's <laughs> not a, a strictly remote play device. And the portal's doing well, which I didn't expect, and so that means... It doesn't make sense. It doesn't even... It doesn't stream the game better than, like, the Backbone. That's cheaper. I think the Backbone does a better job of playing the game. The problem is it has a worse screen, and it doesn't have haptics, and the buttons are smaller. That's a lot of problems. For the Backbone? For yeah. something to do. Yeah, but like I you're see sacrificing to save that like hundred dollars. Is... Yeah, I see. I ultimately but also I've a better around. gaming experience. I, I've come around. I see the vision with the portal. Like it's still ugly as fuck. It is. So ugly. that's that's always going to be a thing for me. But <laughs> I see why somebody would get it. You know, yeah. it it makes sense. Like let's say your console, your primary console is also hooked up to the TV type shit. Yeah. I get cool. it. I, 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 can, I can use my portal, you know? I, if you're a remote play person, it makes yeah. sense. But I don't use remote play. I wanted to get one, and then I saw reviews where it was like, it's not the greatest gaming experience, and I was like, I don't want to get one. Yeah, yeah, I still recommend people get a backbone. I'm like, it's cheaper. If yeah. that's what you, if you... If remote play is what you want to do, or yeah. dabble in, better yet. If remote plays what you want to dabble in, it's just a good backbone. You don't even need a backbone? You, you don't. <laughs> you can just hook up a controller to it. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, but it's like, what am I doing? Backbone's just a little more convenient. I'm my phone in my lap, and I'm just like, controller <laughs> Am I propping it up on my laptop like this? You know what yeah, I'm one of those cheap plastic like things. iPad. Oh. So do it on the iPad. Stand oh, yeah, if you, got a, if you got an iPad. But that's if you have an iPad. That's yeah. true. That was spending oh, so much money just to get an iPad. Oh, yeah, that's true. It, remote play is just available on so many different things that you got to be kind of deep to... Not be able to do it. Well, you're... 
you got to not have a PS5 to not be able to do it, so that's not hard. Um, <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> even though the PS5 is outselling the Xbox Series X, uh, on a recent episode of Table Cheese, I was like, yeah, it's probably two to one. Turns out it's three to one, <laughs> so. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. Thanks for that. Yeah. We got Spider Man. <laughs> I don't even think it's the game. Xbox is not even like I mean, yes, it's the games. Plus Xbox is not even trying to sell Xbox. Yeah, they don't like, even everybody like everybody who wanted an Xbox already got one. Yeah. And now did. it's like Xbox trying to convince people, like, yeah, you sure you don't want one? And they're not really doing that. They're not even like. trying to convince like, yeah, anyone. Check out our check out our platform type shit. Sure. Hey, we like Game Pass. You don't even have to get a console to get it. Just get a Samsung TV. Right? It's about the same requirements to stream Xbox games as it is to remote play a PlayStation. Yeah. I mean, they put so much money into making it an experience that it, like, so it works, but they don't, they took away, like, trying to actually sell a console itself. Plus, they don't have no damn games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they also don't have like they don't have any like major like blockbuster games. Yeah, this is exactly. Yeah. That's there just... is no Spider Man. Their one blockbuster game was I mean, you have to be a very specific Bethesda fanboy to want to play that game. I am not. None of us are, none of us ever were. Uh, the fact that that game is just like, it came out and it just went out into the ether. ether I don't even have to talk shit about it anymore because the game doesn't present itself for it to be in, in opposition to me by existing. Yeah, you don't have to talk shit. It talks shit about itself. <laughs> Xbox get best game that came out last this year is Hi-Fi Rush. If I had four arms, I, some would be folded and the others would be doing this. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is what I would hit my X pose. <laughs> uh, that's crazy. <laughs> yes, I've won. Even with four you arms, won. Still, there's that one part of your back that you just can't scratch. Yes, I won. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably even harder to reach your back with like the, <laughs> imagine having four armpits. Oh my god, that's a lot of deodorant. That's a lot of deodorant. At that point, you probably just like fuck it. That's true. I you got four arms. Who's gonna say know. something? Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who's gonna get that close to you? You know, <laughs> what's that smell? And then you're just dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're just gonna go out there and enjoy Mortal Kombat. <laughs> no, the whole thing is that Doro doesn't have shit <laughs> on the. Whew. Like Goro's child's play in comparison to what we're talking about. <laughs> Doro will piece you up with all four arms. That is something that we never have to do. <laughs> <laughs> Two of our arms are just for making the ass whooping more disrespectful. <laughs> you got two arms beating the dog water out of you. The other two arms are on their fucking steam deck. Just, just, bro. I'd be so mad. Two, you're holding two different phones and texting. <laughs> two different people at the same time. <laughs> you're on one trying to find out what to eat on uber eats does it take anybody else an hour to go through uber eats and finally oh, yeah. decide what to what to eat consistently it's too many choices yeah. i'll say about an hour and a half for me because i'm like i'm, I'm always doing the... in a direction whatever looks good when i make it to the next pocket of <laughs> existence <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah i'd rather deal with that honestly because I have to do this complex algorithm in my in my brain. Because I, I look, I'm like, all right, if this is going to cost me this much. I, I can get this item, this item, this item. And it's going to take this long, roughly, to get to me. But do I really want that? And then I just go through the same, like... It's got to be worth it. Because it can't be too close. 
that you like look at it and you're like, damn, I am literally wasting thirty dollars when I could have just take ten minutes out of my life to go get this myself. I usually don't have that option. If uh, I do, then I then then I can talk myself into it. Or if there's some food here, I can talk yeah, myself into it. But sometimes I don't. Like today, <laughs> <laughs> See, either that is soup. I think the night <laughs> soup shift thing on my computer just turned on like because i looked away and i looked back and the colors are definitely not the same <laughs> <laughs> so this video episode is going to be it's going to see the it's going to be the change on your eyes earlier in the video and more <laughs> easy on your eyes. <laughs> the night Maybe shift yeah. i'm on my night job all right well, does anybody have one more thing before we go off into Chris, full Christmas mode? I.e., uh, I'm going to help Jalen run this raid series in 14. And mm. I'll do that oh. a little bit later, though. I'm going to eat and drink some more. I'm hungry again. Chris, I think I I'm actually going to go out and to hit up Fortnite and see if you can get on Festival because I know you could be enjoying Fortnite Festival with me right now. How do I hit up Fortnite? Just text Fortnite. Hey, yo, Fortnite. <laughs> we still got beef for no reason? Fortnite was good, my G. I really want to play that rocket racing. Did you did you get banned? Is that what happened? Did they send you a lump of coal for being toxic? I could play it on my computer. I just can't play it on my PlayStation for some reason. Because I'm not banned for run. Oh wait, why am I not banned from Rocket League? That's the thing. Like I, it looked like I was soft banned in Fall Guys, but I wasn't any kind of banned in anything else. What did I do? How to contact Epic Support? <laughs> uh. All right. Well, remember, you can follow us all collectively around the internet. Until next time, cheesycontrollerpodcast.com. Follow me on Instagram at Anton, the number six, two X's, which is also apparently not allowed in Grand Blue Fantasy versus Rising. Um, Chris? Oh, yeah. Hop in our Discord. Go to cheesycontrollerpodcast.com. Uh, we got our social media, our Discord. You know, let's just keep this 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 interaction going. Madrid. Uh, X underscore Spain on Instagram. Jalen. Quit yeah. Bishop around the internet. All right, this has been a No It's Good production. The video version is on hiatus. The audio version is edited by Kumasanti. Until next time, keep it cheesy.